I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Leda Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. The stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I will see what I...
do you see, Sunim? Sigurd Drenger. Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Reptar. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrin. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes.
can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Vogred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Lively town. Quite a lot to see here. to the gates of Tamworth, we'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of War. One does war. not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Throwing a boy who stinks of fear to a pack of wolves is not the best way to train him. Are you sure that's what Chilwolf wants? Hmm. He left it open for interpretation. Ivar! He comes with us. 
And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> both eyes are... Watch it, you idiot! You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this shire to hell. Beards are with us. Oh! Oh! 